Good morning, dear students. Welcome to my today's English First Paper class. And this class is for 9 and 10. And as usual, this is for Jan Anwar, Assistant Teacher in English, Ikhu Babashuda High School, BSRI, Ishudhi Padna. Now, I'm just going to start my today's class. So before starting the class, let me check how many of you are here. And is everything okay? Can you hear me? So let's check all these things, right? Okay. Okay, students, for some days it is disturbing. Okay, let me check from here. Uh, yes, I can see Valula sir. Yes, thank you. Please tell me, is everything okay or not? Because my hand device is not working. Uh, yes, sir said okay. And I can see, yes. Okay, then let's get started. And please, dear students, look at the board and look at the question. What is the building? Look at the picture here. Do you have a building like this in your town or village? What do you call it? What is it used for? Okay, now give me your answers. And I'm trying with this thing. By this time, I hope you will give your answers. And do you have a building like this in your town or village? Of course, we have so many buildings like this. And what do we call? We call it mosque. And what is it used for? Generally, we use the mosque for uh, as the praying place, right? Now, uh, from that picture, you have now very um, clearly understood that our today's topic is Unit 8. And this is Lesson 1. And our title is the Shad Gombuj Mosque, right? So we are going to start our today's class. And what is the outcome of today's class? What we will learn from this class? We will be able to read and understand the test, text. We will be able to ask and answer questions. We will be able to describe a place. And we will be able to inform uh, place. We will be uh, do some information gap filling activity, right? So all these activities we will cover from our today's text. Now uh, let's start with vocabulary, right? Look at the first uh, one, heritage. So what is heritage? This is a noun and look at the picture here. I think you can get a very good picture of heritage here. So many number of heritage. So our world is full of different cultural heritage, full of different cultural heritage. So what does it mean? It means property that is or may be inherited. Jeta amra hoy amader ache, othoba amader purbo purusher kas theke jeta amra uttoradhikar shudhre pai, sheta hoteche amader heritage. 
Our next word is inherit. Inherit, heritage look, jetamra, uh, je shampoti, ba je ongsho tamra purbo purushe kaste ke pay, sheta hoche heritage. Our age prapti je kaj sheta hoche inherit look. It is a verb. Haji Muhammad Mohsen inherits a vast property. Inherits a vast property. And what does it mean? Receive as an e as an heir, heir mane uttaradhikari at the death of the previous holder. Kono jini shay jeta age ekjon uttaradhikar jini malik chilen sheta jodi amra poroporti tarmitu pore amra jodi bo just boxan promi bhabe amra peje jeta kabo uttaradhikari bolii sheta hotche shei kajjo prakta hotche inherit. This is a verb. Outskirt. Outskirt. Look at the picture. The forest is situated. This is a forest. The forest is situated on the outskirts of the city. Okay. And the meaning the outer parts of a town or a city. The outer parts of the city. I don't feel that I don't shimana bully. Sheta hoche. Amadir. Outskirt of the outskirt. Shimana. The shore. Shimana ilaka. The shimanto ilaka. The camera. Bangladesh. Emerging infrastructure. Infrastructure. This is a noun. The infrastructure of the road makes it look like a button. इकहने हम एक तो देखे छोटी चा. इकहने जो रास्ता जो डिजाइन करा हुआ है जो अभूकाटा मोटा तो ये भी करा हुआ है. Look at the picture. This is just look like a button. हम रा शार्टेज जब बहुत हम रा लगाए एक दो स्ट्रक्चर टा चिप ओरो को हम रा देखते पाची. The basic structure of building a society or enterprise. Right. So this is. The thing and monument. It is very common word, and this is a noun, a statue, building, or other structure erected to commemorate a notable person or event. That is monument, right? And example, the National Memorial is one of the significant monuments of Bangladesh. So in Bengali, we can say this is monument means shodhu. Dominant. This is a verb. Look at the example. The man dominated others and won. Unni ruposhe prabhav vistar kore chhe, bokshe joi hoye chhe. Have power or influence over. Karo rupore jodhi shokti khata na hoi, ba kono prabhav vistar kora hoi. Sheta camera bolchi, dominate, right? Our next word is arch. This is a noun. And look at the meaning. And a curved structure. Spanning and opening and typically supporting the weight of a bridge, roof or wall above. I'm going to show you to the key. So with the AJ arch design for a little AJ gate and photo arch. AJ can get that. AJ arch. It's a bakano job. So that it can be a lot of arch. So a card at the bakano structure. Oh, what a more. Jetta key for it. Could a roof. Bakano pillar key. Support the water. No, I'm going to have a so. Just look at the picture. Example, the door of the castle was arched. So, the door of the castle, for example, if you think that this is the door of a castle, and it is arched. Ventilation. So, what does it mean? Ventilation. The provision of fresh air to a room, building, etc. This is not so uncommon. Ventilation. Rasta da shetai hoche amade ventilation. Example, the mosque had a great ventilation. The mosque had a great ventilation. E mosque jide on ek bhalo alo bata shay shuk bhabusta loye chhe. Jata hai te shuk bhabusta that is the ventilation. Our next word is interior. Interior mane bhetore design, bhetore shat shat jay. The inner part of something or the inside. The interior has been much restored. मतलब भीतरे डिजाइन टा अब आर पुनो रह आगे जाऊँ चिरो चिक शेरो को पुरे पीरिया ना हुए चे। So interior means inside the decoration inside, right? So this is the noun. Baked brick. This is also very popular nowadays. Shat Gombud Mosque was built with baked brick. Look, that means hard, burnt, strong brick. That is burnt and it becomes very strong. And that type of brick is called baked brick, right? 
slender stone column. Actually, this uh, text is very big passage, right? And you have a number of vocabulary in this text. So, slender stone column. This is a phrase. Look at the column here. Slender, shoru, stone, pathuraturi, column, column. A column gulo, shoru, pathuraturi, a stone gulo ke bala hoche. Slender stone column. Look, the building is made with slender stone columns. And it is slim, handsome or trim. That means, shoru, kono, pathuraturi, lomba column ke bala hoche. Slender stone column. Right? And hollow. Look at the picture here. This is a hollow. When something is curved in this way and in the middle there is the very vacuum place. Right? That very vacuum place is called a hollow. Empty space inside. The interior part of the roof is a big hollow. Hope you got the meaning of these words. Right? Look at the arrow sign and you will find this is the hollow part. Reservoirs. Reservoirs that means tanks, pool, lake or pond. Kanjahanali dug many reservoirs for people. Now, dear students, by this time we have known all the vocabularies of the text. Now we will go through the text, right? So before going to the text, please look at the question. What is our unique source of life? Okay, and how many architectural styles are found in the infrastructures of the city? What are they? Okay, so you will consider these questions and now open your book and I will read my reading text and you will match my one. So before that, let me check is everything okay or you got the idea? Yes, Beauty Begum, thank you, thank you very much. Rupok, Walaikum Asalaam. Welcome to my today's class and okay. Now look at that text. Heritage is what we inherit from the past, live with the with in the present and then pass on to our children and our future generation. Our unique source of life and inspiration is our cultural and natural heritage. And here you can also see when we speak of world heritage, it indicates places and sites that we inherited from the past and pass on to the future generation of the entire world. Then we inherited from the past and we pass on to the future generation of the entire world. The Shadgumbuj Mosque in Bagelhar is such a heritage. Shadgumbuj Mosque is such a heritage. It became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1985. And you will try to guess what are the thing here. Originally, the district mosque city was called as Kulipadabad. It is at the outskirts of Bagehar town, not very far from the dense mangrove forest of the Shundarbans. Kulipadabad was a Muslim colony. It was founded by the Turkish general, a saint warrior, Ulu Khan Jahan, in the 15th century. So. Uh, this is Bagelhat. At present, its name is Bagelhat. It is in the, look here, it is in the outskirt, in the northern part of Bangladesh. And previously, it was known as Khalifatabad. And look at the picture. He is Ulakhan Jahan. He actually built this city, this city. Right? And at first, it was covered with forest. And then, he made it habitable for people. The infrastructure of the city reveals significant technical skills in many mosques as well as early Islamic monuments. Baked bricks were used for the construction of the buildings. The planning of the city was dominated by the tradition of Islamic architecture and decoration where a combination of Mughal and Turkish architecture. Right? So, 
the infrastructure infrastructure amra er age vocabulary te dekhechi infrastructure infrastructure mone hocche obokathamo ei shohore je infrastructure chilo seta ki korche significant technical skills in many mosques as well as early islamic monument right big big were used this is very common the planning of the city was dominated by the tradition of islamic architecture the decoration was a combination of mughal and turkish architecture so i think you got your answers that i asked you for the previous time so what is the, our first cultural heritage our cultural and natural heritage is our is our unique source of life and inspiration and the second one what three types of architecture are found three architectural styles are found in the infrastructures of the city they are islamic architecture mughal architecture and turkish architecture amader prashno chilo koy dhoroner architecture er somishron paoa jay amra tin dhoroner peyechi shegulo hocche ki ki islamic architecture mughal architecture and turkish architecture now the left out part of the text Hanjar Ali built a network of roads, bridges, public buildings, and reservoirs to make the city habitable. There are about 360 mosques in the city. Among them, the most remarkable is the multi-domed Shah Gumbuz Mosque. Multi-domed that means they have many, so many domes. Dome means Gumbuz, multi, bohu, one, a number of. That means one Gumbuz. Vishishto Howard Karone, it is a big one. multi domed buildings right this is the picture of the shah gumbuz mosque so let's have a very uh, structural description of this mosque right look here this mosque has 77 low height domes egulo nichu 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 bolte bojhano hoyeche gumbuz tar height kom ekhane dui dhoroner gumbuz ache ektu dekhi ekta hocche smaller domes ekhane ache ebong eigulo hocche low height domes and this there are 11 arched doorways here and here the in the northern south in the northern side there are seven arched doorways this is the north side and same as the south there are also seven arched doorways so in total 14 doorways in total in northern south it has 60 pillars to support the roof seven aisles running along the length of the mosque and 11 deep curve between the slender stone columns these columns support the curving arches created by the domes the thickness of the arches is 6 feet and has slightly narrowing hollow and round walls the western wall was decorated with terracotta and the stone work there were 11 mihrab what is mihrab niki in the mosque pointing towards makkah আমরা মসজিদে যদি যাই তাহলে যেখানে ইমাম সাহেব বসে খুতবা দেন যেটা এবং একটা ছোট কোটরের মত একটা জায়গা আছে যেটা নির্দেশ করে যে মসজিদে ঢুকে মসজিদে ঢুকে আমরা বুঝতে পারি যে এই জায়গাটা হচ্ছে ইন্ডিকেট করা থাকে যে ওই দিকটা হচ্ছে পশ্চিম ওই কোটরের ওই অংশটাকে বলা হয় মিহরাব ইন দা ওয়েস্টার্ন ওয়াল এটা কোথায় আছে পশ্চিম দিকের ওয়ালে আছে দা ফ্লোর অফ দা মাস্ক ইজ মেড অফ ব্রিক ফ্লোরটাও কিন্তু ইটের তৈরি নাও দিস ইজ অল अबाउट দা টেক্সট এন্ড ফ্রম your reading from your textbook now i want the fill in the gaps here here it is the shah gumbuz mosque and you have to fill the information here right so who founded it when number of domes just fill up the columns right and let me check who are you giving me the answers Okay. Yes, I'm waiting for your answers.
okay i'm giving my answers and you will write the answers in comments so that you can match the answers with my one right look at here founded by khanjahanali so who founded the mosque khanjahanali when 15th century number of domes 81 number of pillars So this is the information about Shat Bunguj Mosque. Now, uh, this is all about our today's class. Hope you enjoyed the class. And if you have any question regarding the class, you can ask me through comments. So, see you in the next class. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Bye-bye. Salaamu Alaikum.